Welcome back, one and all, to Red Dead Redemption 2. I am the Dark Seraph, and last time we robbed Leviticus Cornwall again. That's clearly a brilliant move on my part. Ah, shit. Oh! Fuck! Let's get out of here. Wars. Okay, what do I want to go do this time? L. Lenny! Sure. This way I can get Arthur a much needed nap. That's gonna be mine over there. Till morning. What are you, what's this, Kieran? Yeah, hey, Kieran. Oh, 
ways of the bay, near the whiskey, I began to tumble and roar. The face was as red as a lobster. I don't need this right now. I fell Arthur. You going fishing? Yes. Or running off to Como Driscoll? Of course not. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> yes, very funny. I saved your life, and now you torture me. Ho, ho. Shut up. Do you want to go fishing with me? I, I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisherman. But I am. <laughs> I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. I like Kieran. I can tell that he's right, trying. Grab your horse and let's go. Shit. Okay, follow me. I know a great little fishing spot along the beach. Who'd have thought it? Wasn't that long ago I was tied to the back of your horse while begging for mercy. Now we're off fishing together. Uh, how do you know I ain't just looking for a good place to drown you? <laughs> because I saved your life, Arthur. Uh, you keep saying that. I mean, but he, he did. I save your life every day I don't kill you. So we are more than even on that front. Come on, <laughs> you don't mean that. You better believe I mean it. Now, where's this spot? Uh, not much further. Hey, Kieran did save his life. This is the place. It's a beautiful smallmouth here. Bass? Sure. This strip of shore looks perfect. Pick a spot. Seeing lots of bluegill and bass over here. Eat with worms or crickets if you got them. Otherwise, maybe some bread or cheese. Try not to cross your line, Kieran. That's just proper bait etiquette. Fishing etiquette, excuse me. You get many bites there, old Driscoll? I ain't an old Driscoll. I told you fellas a hundred times. I'd only been with them a couple of months. It was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Bottom rung of the ladder. And to think that was the high point of your career. Home <laughs> goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. You barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you, but I ain't sure Kieran Vanderlyn is gonna stick. There you go. Keep it coming, but careful. Yeah, I got the hang of this, these fishing mechanics. Nice. Good catch, Arthur. Oh, a nice little perch. I'll be keeping you. Now see if you can hook another. You think Dutch trusts me now? No. 
That's a good one. What? Not in the slightest, my friend. I can't win. I promised loyalty, he says, but you wasn't loyal to Cone. If I say I ain't got no allegiance to nobody, he says, how do I know you won't turn on us then? I don't know what you want to hear. I'm trying hard to feel sorry for you, but somehow I, I just can't manage to. What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? The feather's naked as a jaybird. Is that why you like this spot? My lord, there's somebody who needs to go to confession. Hey, watch the light! Oh, hey, I nearly jumped down a minnow. Sorry, fellas, didn't see you there. Why don't you take a break? Come on in. The water's wonderful. Why don't you get the hell out of here before we hook that maggot of yours and see what really bites? Well, aren't you just perfect charmers? <laughs> Good day to you, then. Fuck off already! Let's look somewhere else. I know another spot where hopefully we won't be interrupted. Sounds perfect for the drowning. <laughs> Very funny. Come on, I mean, seriously. Hey, that is not proper fishing etiquette. You don't go up into the water where people are fishing. Fuck you, dude. I've been meaning to try this spot out. Oh yeah. Did I you mean see that amazing bluegill? Sure. That got you real excited, huh? Come on, Arthur. Let, let's walk down to the beach. I can tell you like fishing. I mean, you can just see them jumping clean out of the water. Monster. The legendary uh, fish it ain't easy location. To catch a fish like that with bread and cheese, but uh, you never know. We might get lucky. Guess we'll see. Cast one in, then, Arthur. So who taught you how to fish? My pappy, mostly. I, I lost my mammy and pappy when I was young to cholera. Your mammy? Like I said, I was real young. Oop, copperhead. After that, I was on my own pretty much. Water snake, water snake. Go away, water snake. Well, uh, Piss off, water snake. Now, Piss off. Never be alone again. It's floating on the surface. That's a bit of miss water snake. Piss off now, water snake. I ain't no threat to you. Did you hook him, the big one? I don't know. Uh, don't feel like much of a fighter. I don't like that frickin' water snake out there. Nice catch. But that's not the big one we saw. I'll keep you anyway. Now I'm not afraid of snakes, I just don't want to get bit by a damn water moccasin. Or cottonmouth, as other people call them. Because moccasin just means snake. See? Look at this. I ain't so bad. At least you ain't tied to a tree. I'm still a prisoner, Arthur. I can't step outside camp by myself for a second without being terrified of one of Combs boys gonna come pick me up. When I'm in camp, I got Bill and Sadie whispering in my ear all the time how they're gonna kill me in my sleep. It's like living in a nightmare. Christ. If I'd known you were gonna moan this much, I'd have never have said yes to this. You got it! That has got to be the one, right? No, it don't feel very big to me. Mm 
Come on now, little no, fella. That's not it. Yes, yes, you keep saying that. I'm keeping it anyway. Try a bit of corn. I don't think we have much chance. We need better bait. You might want to see if the stores around here sell anything better. I think I'm gonna head back to Camp Arthur if that's okay. Sure. Go on, I'll see you later. There's a big one up there. Let's draw the lure. I can go try I can go sell these down to the butcher in town. Ooh. Lightning. There's a nice sized bass. I'm sure this must be invigorating. That's enough. I go. Yep, that is a cotton mouth. These are nasty vipers. I'm just gonna skin this sucker and be done. Four snake skin and some stringy meat. And something will be eating on that. Let's head into town. Alright, girl. I 
I do enjoy the fishing in this game. It's quite fun. Valentine to Rhodes in less than five minutes. Ooh, that's a long ride. I don't think Morgan, I don't think Blucher here is up for that. I'll take you to the butcher in town and make some money off of you. I don't actually eat turkey anymore. My mother's allergic to it, and I've just kind of okay, lost the taste man, for girl. it. So I just don't eat turkey. But I can sell it. Apparently, wild turkey are pretty. Are a lot smarter than the domestic. Domestic turkeys are really fucking stupid. It'll start raining, they'll look up and drown. Okay, buddy. Me, hey, right here, buddy. Morning, dear. Listen, have you seen... I'm looking for my friend, Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing, and uh, now I'm all alone. Good luck. That's, uh... That's too bad. I don't know you're any Gavin, buddy. If I run in... This Gavin doesn't like to go skinny dipping, does he? Hey there, girl. the tobacco just behind the door there. Now, let me just look in here. You sell arrows. Yep. Live crickets. Locked. Lake Lure. 
some worms here. That was certainly a noise. Mr. Ballard across the way there is doing a roaring trade all of a sudden. <laughs> Maybe I ought to move. Got what I need. Thanks. Okay. There's a stranger. That's probably Gavin. How y'all doing? Yeah. Mister? What you want? You okay? <laughs> Do I look okay? <laughs> no. You look awful. <clears throat> awful. Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be gentle. Jeremiah Compson. Compson Stead. Good for you. If that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here, living in the shit and the mud. I'm sorry. <coughs> oh, that's pleasant. <sighs> my old house. The house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed, repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos, a watch, old pistol, my ledger. Where's this house again? Compson's stead. So north of... Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. There's a lot of things that are hell, man. There's a lot of things. I don't feel like doing that, though. Welcome back. So, what are you in the market for? It's just your workshop. Just holler when you spot a winner. Yeah. Varmint rifle. That's good for small game. I'll go ahead and pick that up. Fine choice. Oh. I've already Always maxed. Good to have a full stock on ammunition.
breech loading rifle. See Mr. Banks across the way there? He ain't the friendliest, but he's nice enough when you get mad. I'm looking forward to testing this out. Line up, Rose. It's Baker. So it goes. So ever I go hunting, I'll be using that varmint rifle. Ain't good for much else. through don't mean to intrude on your politics damn jackass yeah you know I'm not gonna get after these guys there was a person trespassing on his land no, no. on their land they have every right to defend it Plantation. Yep. Sheriff's orders. He wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it? Yes. Well, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. I probably am. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Okay. down around the corner. Locked. And here. Nope, that's just a... might as well be a wall. There you are. Huh. 
I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here. Then suddenly, there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you Head help up to Valentine with her. get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, in that case. <laughs> I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. And if you do, if you really love her, tell your family to fuck off. Right. Okay, just tell your guy, just tell your family to fuck off and go to her. Leave this dust bowl. Head up north. Come on, blue car. There you are, my beautiful horse. No, you just... Yes, 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 I know. I guess that since I robbed Cornwall, that's who's gonna come fuck things up for me here in Rhodes. I'd rather not do this violently, but I will if I must. 
I, was like, I don't see why I can't just walk up to the front door and go, hey, delivery from Joe Smo. You have a secret admirer, Miss Penelope Braithwaite. I don't know why I have to complicate things. Are there even guards? Yes, there are guards. Let's give them a wide berth. Berth? I don't know. Stealth really isn't my forte in this game. This one ain't supposed to be here. This is hey. a private plantation. Get out of here now. Hey, hey, I'm just a tourist. Braithwaite Manor, ain't it? I read about it in my pocket guide. Do you mind if I tour the grounds? You're a tourist? What? You think this is Paris, France? Get out of here! Good okay, day, fine then. You think that fence is up for fun? I'm walking you off this property right now. Come on! Okay, lead the way. I'm... Hey, clear off, okay? I am, I am. So there's not much of a penalty to get caught. There, there, there just was no penalty for that, other than some flavor text. What was the point? Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Why, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from... Uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... So strange. Yes. <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages or well, I don't know, cave people perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. <laughs> you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. Uh... I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. Uh, well, maybe a bit. But here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. I'm a motherfucking mailman. Now I have to get out without being seen. Not very many guards. I can just go right around them. Get back on my horse and hightail out of here.
I'd rather not kill anyone. Not if I can avoid it. I'll be bringing up the map quite a few times. Go around this fence line. Okay. Straight shot for the horse. Cotton. Ooh, empty seat. There's the horse. Cocaine gum. Well, I'll be doing that later. Join me next time on Red Dead Redemption 2 as I continue playing Matchmaker to keep Penelope, Bo, if you love each other, go to Valentine, go to Strawberry, go to Blackwater, leave your little shit house dust bowl of wherever the fuck you are, and go elope. Tell your family to eat. Go tell your family to eat a bag of dicks and leave. It's not that complicated. I'm the Dark Seraph, signing off.